Hello, 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 it's Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrapping on the Go. This process video is for Mini Kit Monday with Becky, Daisy, Kathy, Shannon, Tracy, and myself. And our mood inspiration piece was put together by Becky. Isn't that a fun, bright inspiration piece? And here are my products that I plan on using to document this photograph of my niece and nephew. I'm also going to use a page map sketch, this one right here that I'm pointing to. And next, I will show you the papers that I pre-selected from my August kit. And I also pulled out some three by four cards that was not in my kit. That yellow polka dot paper, which the opposite side is a marble paper, is from Dear Lizzie Stay Colorful Collection. And the print is so small and my eyes are so bad that I can't see the year. I think it's a 2017 paper. The other ones, I don't remember the manufacturer or the collection because I already have the branding strip off. I'm going to go ahead and cut the branding strip off of my base paper, which is that Dear Lizzie Stay Colorful. Now I can tell you over to the right, you see that heart paper. I'm pretty sure that is a Bella Boulevard paper. And that white striped and green one might be a Jen Hatfield paper, I think. All right, so I got out my Creative Memories border punch and I am using the notebook punch. And I am gonna punch down the right and left hand side. I'm gonna leave the top straight or you could say untouched. So while I'm just a little bit ahead of myself, I want to remind you that I will have Becky, Daisy, Kathy, Shannon, Tracy, links to their channel listed below in the description box so that you can go see what they created today using products from their August kit. And just for a reminder, or if you're new, we have a Facebook group site I will have the link listed below where you can play along. You can create your kit, post it to the album, and post your layouts and be entered in to win a gift certificate or a curated kit from one of the Mini Kit Monday ladies, whoever is hosting that month. And we have albums for every month that we have started our Facebook group, which has been over a year, that you can go surf and get inspired to document those memories in a fun, creative way. All right, back to my layout. All right, I'm almost done punching the right and left hand side using that notebook punch from Creative Memories. Now this scrap paper is too large, so I need to trim it down so that you can see my punched edges on the left and right hand side and then I will bring back my photograph right here make sure and I think I'm going to trim it one more time I would I'd already double mat or I'm sorry I already matted my photograph with white daisy cardstock from close to my heart I love their cardstock from close to my heart I'm now going to adhere it to that pattern paper of beautiful hearts so it's now my photograph is double matted. And then I think you're going to start seeing me bring in my embellishments. Yep. So I'm showing you the sticker sheet, the chipboard um, sheet, and my sticker book that I put in my kit to use this month. All right. So that sticker sheet right there is from Close to My Heart, the Summer Vibes collection, which... Today would be the last day if you would like to purchase that beautiful summer vibes collection from Close to My Heart. I will have the link listed below if you do not have a consultant. All right, so I'm going to take that palm leaf that says chill on it, and I'm going to place that on top. And then I'm going to take the beach ball and place that over there tuck it in. So I'm working on my layers here on the top right hand corner. I am using distressed ink and black soot just to lightly outline that beach ball sticker. 
and I'm adding a little bit of dimension by popping up that beach ball with some foam adhesive. Next, I'm going to take this scrap that was in my kit, which I already punched out for a previous layout using that notebook punch from Creative Memories. I selected the three by four card that says today, today, today. Then I went back to my Creative Memory Summer Vibe sticker, which says the perfect day. So I have a nice little jingle title going on that says today, today, the perfect day. And then I'm gonna apply some foam adhesive to the back of that sticker to add some more dimension and interest to this layout. And this was a perfect day for my nephew and niece. They were in Florida visiting their uncle and they got to go out on the, his boat and do some deep sea fishing and they are having a blast. All right, so now back to my layering. I selected these palm leaves to tuck under my title. And I'm gonna to need to trim it because I already adhered down that sticker sheet with that foam adhesive and I'm struggling trying to get it tucked in there. And so I just trimmed off the bottom portion, which worked out just fine. And then I'm gonna tuck in that leaf. And let's see, what am I gonna do next? Oh, now I'm back to the chipboard from Jen Hatfield and that is from the patio collection. I selected that hanging basket and did not like it. And then I found this chipboard arrow piece that says party this way. I like that, even though that's the only brown element. And then there was a watermelon piece and I took that under the beach ball. And then there's this bumblebee chipboard piece. So I used three chipboard pieces from Jen Hatfield party, what is it, patio party. And then went back to my sticker sheet from the Summer Vibes collection by Close to My Heart. And I select a couple phrases, one in that green that matches that palm leaf that says chill. And then I add another one that is in red and it has a phrase on there and I can't read it. It's too small on my screen right now. And I just wanted your eye to stop. I didn't want it to drop all the way to the end of the page. So I took that striped paper that was cut the opposite way and placed it right there on top of the um, green strip. And my layout, oh, and then I added some sequins and my layout is complete. All right, here are the close-ups. I appreciate you all. Get out your photographs, document those memories. Be sure to check out the other ladies. Their links are listed below in the description box, along with our link to our Facebook group site. See you next time. Bye.